Before I even start this video, I just want to say congratulations to South Carolina and Don Staley on an undefeated season and a national championship. They deserve all the credit in the world. So last year, I made a video on Angel Reese taunting Caitlin Clark, and I defended her 100%. Dave Portnoy called her a piece of shit, Keith Olbermann called her an idiot, and I saw fans calling her a thug. All of that is out of line. It's basketball, it's trash talk, and she grew the sport by doing that. This year, she got a lot of criticism when she talked about the hate comments she's beginning and being sexualized. Now the death threats are obviously way too far, I'm never going to defend that. But when it comes to being hated on or sexualized, she has to accept some culpability. I mean, she accepted the villain role. She did bikini shoots. I work out a lot, so I mean, why not show it? I got a, a nice little body, so. When I go to the beach or go to the pool, when everybody looking, it's like, damn, you sexy girl. Damn, you sexy girl. She was twerking on TikTok, and had she have won, we wouldn't have been hearing about any of that. Anyway, now we have her hating on all things Iowa and Caitlin Clark. Clark gave her props after she beat her and told her to keep being a great player, which Angel Reese mentioned in her post-game interview. But Angel Reese doesn't seem to be a big fan of Caitlin. It started off after that illegal screen that was called on UConn. She tweeted, was that not clean? Now that was absolutely an illegal screen. I'm someone that doesn't like refs making those calls. I like when the refs let some things go in a close game. But there is no denying that that was an illegal screen. Not only was she moving, but she pressed up with her arms. Angel then tweeted during the national championship, I see how this game is about to go, shake my head. At that time, South Carolina only had three more fouls called on them. And here Angel was insinuating that the game was rigged for Iowa. She would follow that up by tweeting that she had a lot more to say about the refs, but she's going to bite her tongue. She also mentioned that no one is criticizing Gabby Marshall for deleting her social media after receiving hate comments. But there's a big difference. Gabby Marshall hasn't talked trash to anybody, and the only reason she was being hated on was because she got hit with an illegal screen. Surely Angel Reese can see the difference between taunting opponents and being the victim of a controversial call. And Gabby Marshall never made herself the victim. The only thing she said was that she wasn't sure why she was getting so much hate comments when she didn't make the call. Angel would then give credit to South Carolina and Don Staley, but only after liking this meme of herself laughing at Caitlin Clark in Iowa losing. Angel Reese, this is the reason why you're the villain. You are making a conscious effort to take jabs at your opponents while simultaneously being unable to take any criticism of your own, constantly making up comparisons and playing victim while taking shots at other players. If you're going to dish out criticism or make fun of your opponents, you have to be able to take it back. Overall, Angel Reese is a great player, she's great for women's basketball, and her and Caitlin Clark have a great rivalry going on. But I disagree with the idea that any criticism of Angel Reese is unwarranted and anything she does, all of her actions are justified. That's just not true. But as always, I want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below what do you guys think of Caitlin Clark losing the national championship? Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.